Um, next up, uh, we have uh, Jeff Scarta talking about his SAP Spy, which is a remote monitoring system. And uh, we'll just let Jeff go into it. Jeff, you've got as much time as you need. Thank you. All right, does everybody hear me? I'll assume so. Um, good morning, Wisconsin maple syrup producers. My name is Jeff Scarta, and like you, I am also a Wisconsin maple syrup producer. I'm here today to introduce you to SAPSPY, a simple and affordable remote monitoring device to give you peace of mind so you always know the status of your sugar bush. This is a great option for those from a few hundred taps to several thousand taps, especially for many of the woods here in Wisconsin where you, that may be a remote woods for you. We'll be covering three key points today. First, we'll talk about the hardware of SAPSPY. What does it do? Next, we'll give you a quick demonstration of the web app and how you interface face with the device. And finally, I'll cover some of the most common questions that people have when we talk about SAPSPY. So SAPSPY is an all-in-one device. This one device will measure vacuum, tank level, temperature, and is also cellular connected. To measure vacuum, it's a simple 5 16 port on the bottom of the device. This is typically, typically connected to right at the releaser or the wood side of the releaser. This allows you to know that your vacuum pump is, is on and working properly, that your releaser is also working properly, and that the vacuum at your woods is at its peak performance. Kind of gives you peace of mind knowing that your vacuum is, is uh, working properly. Next is a tank level sensor. That's a simple sensor that plugs into the bottom of the device here. That sensor is on a 15 foot long cable, so it makes it very easy for somebody to mount it above a tank on a small device. It does include a bracket so you can clamp that on to um, any object over your tank and you can adjust this, clamp that down um, so you have this right above your tank. This measures how far that sap is away from the, uh, from the sensor so you know how full your tank is throughout the day. It also has uh, levels on there to make it very quick and easy, tool free to set this sensor up above your tank. The next piece, it also has a temperature sensor on it as well. So you always know how cold or how warm is your woods. You can plot this data over time. So you can see how cold um, is it in, you know, did it get in the woods last night? Um, how warm is it right now? Should my vacuum pump be running right now um, with, that, with that temperature sensor? The next piece, it is cellular connected. Um, so great for options where the uh, woods is remote. You may not have Wi-Fi. Um, and that cellular connected piece is all part of SAPSPY. So you don't have to worry about a SIM card or working with your cell phone company to activate it. That is all included um, part of the device. You simply have to turn it on, um, connect your vacuum line, connect your tank level sensor, and you're good to go. Cellular connectivity is all, in, is all part of the device. As far as power, um, so this device has an internal rechargeable battery. And when it's only, so if you don't have power right at your tank, this device still works fine. You don't, doesn't, it does not require power. In that mode, it'll, this that bat, uh, internal battery will last about two to four weeks without recharging completely by itself. When it does not have power, it'll take readings every five minutes and then makes those readings available on your phone, on a web page every 20 minutes. So pretty, pretty um, you know, active readings. To recharge this device, or if you have power, is as simple as um, having this cable, which is included. This cable will plug in right in the bottom of the device. You can secure it. It'll it'll um, rotate in there. So it'll screw on, and that, that cable will be nice and secure. And it's a standard. If you look at this, it's a standard USB cable. So quick, if you have a wall charger, you can plug it in there. Um, a great option to recharge it, maybe mid-season, give it a full charge again. I, I drill holes with my DeWalt drills. If you have Milwaukee, uh, most drill companies will have a USB adapter. So this can also just plug right into this USB adapter to give it a full charge as well. Same thing with any cell phone battery pack, pretty common. A couple new options we have this year. We also have a 12 volt DC. So this can go right on a 12 volt DC battery, keep the thing charged, obviously for the whole entire season. And very similar to that cable, just plug in right on the bottom. I'll keep it on all season long. 
as well as an option for a solar panel. Um, so if you don't want to lug around a battery, they lug it out to your woods. Um, maybe you don't have a battery yet that, that you could spare. Uh, a, cell or a solar panel is another option. This solar panel will give it a full charge in about uh, one, one day of, of reasonable sun. So that's the, um, the hardware piece of it. The SASPI sensor hub will do vacuum, tank level, temperature, and a cellular connected. Now I'll give you a quick demonstration of what that web app uh, looks like. How do you inter um, interface with it? Easier to show on the web page, but all of this is also available from a mobile device um, that you can see, see there. But let me share my desktop here and I'll walk you through the web app. It uh, looks like, um, can you present me to share my screen? If not, I could probably do it from my phone. All right. Let me just get the right screen here. All right, for the web app, well, if you guys see my screen here now, from the uh, web app, you can go to sapspy.com. The first time you're here, you simply just log into the page. Once you're logged in, then you can, um, all your devices, you know, you only log in once, it'll remember who you are. Uh, from here, um, you, if you have multiple woods, multiple devices in different woods, you can see all the different woods that you might have. Um, here you can either plot the data or see device settings. This is one particular device I had sitting outside. So I'll plot that data. And so this will see what is that vacuum level doing over time? What is the tank level doing over time? And what temperature is? Obviously sap's not flowing, so I don't have much of a vacuum or a tank chart to show you. But from the temperature, this was device was sitting outside. So here in Appleton, it's about 20, got the low, as low as 25 degrees last night. And it's about hovering right around 32 degrees right now. So you can plot that data from one hour up to, up to two weeks. You can choose your time range to, to plot that data over time. I can jump back to my dashboard here. I can also see, um, uh, if I go to the, the demo here, if we go device settings, we can call that device, anything you wanna call it. Uh, we can see what the battery charge is on uh, this area. If the device does have power from either USB uh, port, solar panel, or 12 volt DC, we can take readings on demand. So I can read the temperature, I can read the vacuum, I can read the tank level, I can see is it powered or not. Um, and you can do this as often as you want throughout the day. It'll also do the take readings and store that information every five minutes. And you can do that as well on demand. This area of the app, you can enter phone numbers for text alerts. So here, this is my uh, phone number for a, sending a text alert. Maybe you have a brother, a uh, coworker, uh, maybe a neighbor that also um, checks on the woods. When you're at work, maybe he's, out, he's taking care of the operation. You can have multiple phone numbers here and it'll text all three numbers. You can configure alerts for uh, loss of power. So maybe you're on a generator, um, you wanna know when the generator turned off. You can text for loss of power. You can turn on and off alerts for loss of vacuum. So in this case, when it falls below 12 inches, it'll, I'll send me a text alert. Um, for a tank alert, when it gets above 80%, it'll send me a text alert for that. And in this final area here is where you calibrate your tank level sensor to be zero to 100%. And then back on the dashboard, I get those readings every five minutes. So that was the quick web app. Like I said, I, it's also available from a mobile device. So either iPhone, Android, any mobile device, very same interface that you see there. You can go back to video. Now I'll, I'll give you a quick demonstration of what that texting looks like. So this setup, um, you can just barely see it there in my video. I do have a tank level sensor uh, mounted to the table here. Uh, if I take readings on that sensor, Right now, it's measuring all the way to the floor, so it thinks the tank is empty. If I place this box in front of it, right, so now the tank is full, 
I'm gonna ask it to take readings. It'll do this either way every five minutes. So it just took readings and now I'll receive a text alert to say that tank is full. So now I know immediately that my tank is full and I need to go um, empty that soon. Same thing happens for loss of vacuum, loss of power. So you don't always have to monitor that web page. You also, once you get comfortable with it, you're just looking for the text alert. So when you, you know when you, uh, when you, uh, the woods needs your attention. One of the most common questions I receive is, you know, I have not great service in my woods. Um, how's it gonna work for me? The first thing I'll comment is, this is different technology than your cell phone. Um, your cell phone it needs to stream YouTube, go to Facebook, watch ESPN, um, you know, high, high bandwidth, video type content. Um, that reduces its range and how well it, it's, um, it can be used. Secondly, the antenna of a cell phone is like a size of a paperclip. It's really small, um, which reduces its range. This, the antenna, is literally in the entire face of this device is the antenna. Um, and it also works off different technology. Yes, it does connect to a cell tower, but it uses a different technology than what your cell phone does. So that greatly improves its range. The data it sends is less than a text message. So it, um, it can use different technology that really increases its, uh, its coverage. Um, finally, you know, there's a lot of factors that go into cellular connectivity. If there's any concern, um, bring out to your woods, unable to connect, happy to give a refund as well in that scenario. That's one of the most common questions. Now let's open it up to the, to the audience if, if you guys have any other questions. Came in, they kind of um, relate to each other, I guess. Um, the question was, what cellular networks does your system work with? What kind of a service package and, and yeah. estimated cost? I know some systems that are out there require you know, many different parts and pieces to it. So how, how does that work for your, what, uh, what's an estimated cost for, you know, specific yeah, great size question. of woods? Yep. So the cellular connectivity that it uses today is through AT&T. Um, so if you're, if, you know, AT&T coverage, that's, that's, that's where it works through. But once again, you don't have to deal with that. It's all included. That's all something I handle on my end just to make it super simple for you. Um, Cost-wise, uh, the first year is included. So it's all included in the device. Cost of the device is $895. That first year of cellular coverage is included in that device. Future years uh, would be $50 per device um, in future years. And it's for the entire season as well. Okay, so the other question was, what distance will it cover? Now, is each... The, each unit has its own sender in it, correct? So it would they would all have cellular, so you don't have to worry about a sensor that's too far away in the back of the woods or too far away from the sugar house? Yeah, what we're focused on to start is an all-in-one device that's really doing the core of the, of the woods, which is, do I have vacuum? How full is my tank? Is my vacuum pump running? So typically one device per collection tank. Um, there is development that we'll have in future years for remote sensors as well that would talk back to this one, but that, that will be for, for uh, available in future years. So if you have a woods maybe with two tanks, you'd want two of these and they both independently talk out to the cellular connect um, cell tower. So how far really away solution. can that be? Mm, from the cell tower? Um, I don't, I can get back to um, get back to that person. I don't have good information on how far from, from the, the cell tower can be away. You can be anywhere you want. Like I can have this at, at my sugar bush sitting in, you know, Green Bay. I live in Appleton and I can view that data from anywhere. You can be in on a beach in Florida and see your data from your sugar bush. Okay, there was a little confusion here in the room, but I think we got it figured out now. Thank you. <laughs> a yeah. very good presentation, Jeff. Thanks a lot. Oh, yep. there is one Thank more question. Much. Yeah, go ahead. Does eight eight ninety five cover everything, hardware and mobile? And I think you said yes for the first year, but you can expand on that. For the first year, yeah, for the first year, eight ninety five covers this this main device. It does provide the cable for USB charging, along with a tank level sensor. 
So that core functionality, every, everything you need that first year is included, including that, that cellular coverage piece is all part of that device that first year. Future years would, would be that $50 uh, you know, subscription fee for that, for that entire season. So that would activate the device uh, right now, planning on January through you know, probably end of April um, is when that device would be active. I'll put my contact information. Sounds good. I maybe will clarify that it's not eight dollars and ninety-five cents. Um, <laughs> but also, someone asked where to get it, and we just posted that on the chat room. But maybe if you want to talk a little more about your website and how they can find it, if yeah. you have dealers or anything. Yeah. So uh, right now, it's um, you know do mostly direct to the to the customers. I really like that approach. One thing I miss about the in-person trade show is being able to talk to all your different producers out there understand different setups that you might have. So feel free, reach out, email, give me a phone call sometime today or you know, even tomorrow, sometime in the next couple, couple of weeks. Um, feel free to reach out. We can understand your woods a little bit more, uh, figure out you know, what, what works best for you and ask, um, answer any additional questions that you might have. All right, thank you very much.